let's take a look at how to add fractions with unlike denominators. They ask us to solve and simplify your answer. We have one third plus two fourths. Well, the first thing you wanna keep in mind is that when you're adding or subtracting with fractions, you always need to find a common denominator. Okay, common means the same, denominator means the number in the bottom of your fraction. So I need to make the number on the bottom of these fractions the same or common. So if my numbers are three and four, one way to figure out a number that three and four both go into is to multiply them together. So I can say three times four gives me 12, so I know three and four must both go into 12, so that's one number I could use as my common denominator. Now sometimes if that gives you, if you have bigger numbers and that gives you a really big number and you think there's probably a smaller common denominator, another way you could think it through is to think about your multiples of each number. So for example, you could say my multiples of three, those are things that I get when I count by threes, right? So I could think like three, six, nine, 12, 15, and so on. And then you could do the same thing with four, my multiples of four, four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. And then once you have your multiples, what you can do is say, well, do I have a common multiple or a number that's in both lists? The smallest number in both lists or the least common multiple would be the smallest number you could use as a common denominator, which in this case is 12 anyway. So a few different ways to think about how to get that common denominator. And then once you know the common denominator, you wanna rewrite these two fractions as fractions out of 12. So you wanna think about, well, how would I change the denominator or the bottom number? Well, if I had a three and I made it a 12, I multiplied it by four, right? Four times three would give me 12. Whatever you do in the bottom or the denominator, you need to make sure to do the exact same thing in the top or the numerator. So I'm also going to multiply by four up here. Four times one gives me four. Okay, so that means one out of three and four out of 12 have the same value. I'm just writing it in a different way. I want to do the same thing with the second fraction. It was two fourths. Well, to get from four to 12, I would have to multiply by three, right? Four times three gives me 12. So I wanna do the exact same thing on the top, multiply by three, and two times three gives me six. And a kind of nice, easy way to see that they have the same value is notice two is exactly half of four. Six is exactly half of 12, right? So these are both different ways to write one half. Okay, and then from here, now that I have a common denominator, I'm ready to add the fractions together. Okay, now when you add, the denominator does not change. The reason it doesn't change is remember, it tells you what it's out of. This means four out of 12. This means six out of 12. So what it's out of is still gonna be 12, right? My answer is still out of. And then I'm gonna add the numbers in the top or in the numerator. So four plus six, that's gonna give me 10. Okay, so 10 out of 12 is my answer. But notice they told me to simplify. So I wanna make sure I simplify this as much as I can. So I wanna think, well, are there any numbers that go into 10 that also go into 12? And yes, they're both even numbers, so two goes into both of them. So what I can do is I can write this another way to show that they're both, that two goes into both, right? I can think of 10 as two times five and I can think of 12 as two times six, and then I can simply cancel the factor of two on the top and the bottom, right? And that's gonna leave me with five out of six or five sixths. Okay, this time we have two thirds plus one fourth. Okay, now these happen to be the same denominators or bottom numbers we had before. So remember we said we could multiply three times four to get a common denominator or same bottom number of 12. 
Okay, multiplying those two numbers together always works to give you a common denominator, but sometimes it's just not the smallest common denominator. That's when you would look at the multiples. But in this case, we know that 12 was the smallest or least common denominator already from the last problem we did. Now, I wanna rewrite these numbers as something out of 12. Well, three goes into 12 four times, right? So four times three gives us 12. So that means I also need to multiply by four in the numerator or top of my fraction. So four times two makes that an eight. Okay, so two thirds and eight twelfths, they have the same value. And then I wanna do the same thing over here. To get from four to 12, I multiplied by three. So I wanna make sure I also multiply by three on the top. So one times three gives me three. And then I'm ready to add my fractions together. Now remember the bottom number does not change. Everything is out of 12. And I just wanna add the numbers on the top. So eight plus three gives me 11. So I wind up with 11 out of 12. Now always check and see if you can simplify. But 11 is a prime number. That means 11 times one is the only thing I can multiply to get to 11. So I'm not gonna be able to simplify that. I'm gonna leave it the way it is as 11 over 12. 